Hello. Just got back from a run, so that's why my hair is all messy. Today I'm going to be venting the hoop houses. It is currently March 3rd, um, so we have about March 20, April 23rd is the last frost, so almost eight weeks to last frost. It's about 50 degrees out, which is warmer than it has been this, warmest it's been this year. So I'm gonna vent the hoop houses, just the ends, um, cause it still feels pretty chilly out. And that way I just need to close them at night. And I'm also going to, I had some seedlings I put out, the snapdragons, the cold hardy ones, and the sweet peas under a little tarp, not tarp, uh, like a greenhouse cover. I got at Menards, like a paint one a couple years ago. And so they're hardening off. They've been in the sun for a couple hours, so I'm gonna put them into the shade and then I'll put them back under there for nighttime. The sweet peas that I planted last year, I'm gonna pinch those and just check on them because the ones I planted a couple weeks ago are already like huge. I did check up on those yesterday, the ones that had started in the fall and they're not super big, but still gonna pinch them. Hopefully that encourage new growth. I'm also going to direct seed some things. Uh, my labels, all my labels washed away because I didn't use garden marker. And it'll be a surprise. Well, I could go back and watch the video if I really wanted to, but I mean, I'm sure most of the stuff won't stay in all summer. So most of it will just be for spring. So in the empty holes, I'm going to plant some seeds. I got a bunch of larkspur. And so I just took out of the freezer. So I'll direct sow that. Um, in the areas that I remember they were roughly in. And then I do have some Dara, Ami, White, Dill. Um, double check the corn cockle because I could still plant some of those. Queen Anne Slice. Uh, extra love and a miss because I don't, honestly, it came up in the spot. It looks like it's just weeds. Plant some more and some more Orlea. So. And then I did bring the handy dandy seed starting knife. That way, if it needs um, darkness to germinate, if it needs cover, then I can do that. That's pretty much all. Got my sunglasses on and my handy dandy fanny pack. I would really like like a nice leather one, but you know, gotta deal with what I have, save some money. I'm gonna put a raised bed right here for my dahlias there. It's actually two shaded, so I don't think I'm gonna add one gonna put a couple over there by the fence it's a little more shaded I was debating about putting some here but it's just so close I don't want it to look awful and plus when I get compost that's where it goes so I don't know if I need the way let's make sure they're not burnt and still pretty moist pretty good. I'm gonna need to fix this row cover as you can see. It looks like a lot of this didn't make it but maybe it'll surprise me. I think there's this delphinium. I'm surprised. Yeah it all looks like like none of it looks like it made it. Maybe it just got too cold. That's disappointing. This I think was the Orlea. It doesn't look like I have any germination. So we plant that. Um, yeah, a lot of flax gloves actually did pretty well and stayed. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. This looks like some weeds. Got our snapdragons. And they're a little, I'll squish some of them, but honestly, that looks pretty good. This is the rocket variety. One that didn't germinate, but I can always fill in a spot for that. So pretty pleased. I don't know, it almost seems a little dry actually. Alright, can't remember what this is. We got some death in it, but some of it looks like it stayed. Oh, this was the scabiosa. Mm -hmm. pretty much every single one made it, even the ones on the edge. Nice. So I'm just gonna be opening up uh, the ends. I'll probably leave it half open to 
tonight because Thursday and Friday night are going to be really cold and I work those nights so I don't want to have to be out here too crazy and I think it's only going to be in the 40s so it shouldn't be that awful. Leaving it half open and they have the double insulation so it should be pretty good. This is the straw flower. Some of them like that one look pretty dead but for the most part look like they're ready just to have some more growth again. And these are the ranunculus, which actually don't look too bad. I can't tell if those middle ones are dead or not, but growth hasn't totally died back. So hopefully we'll do great for us. Just really excited for these ones the most. All right, this is the anemones in the front. First thing I get flowers from, I don't see any buds, but looking pretty great. And then I can't remember what's after that, but obviously more flowers. Here's part of the sweet peas. Some okay germination did better down there. Um, also, they how big they are, and I'll pinch them. These ones did really great in the first half, in the back half, not very much. So, maybe we'll see some more growth.
doing more planting than I expected to do today, but this is a really nice day and I just need to get everything in the ground that's cold hardy. Um, my Bells of Ireland did awful. So I'm gonna just replant all those. I know I did some inside, but they don't really take well to, you know, they'd rather just be direct sown. So I'm gonna direct sow a bunch of those um, cause I really wanna try them. And I still have a decent amount of stuff to plant. I did all the large spur. And there's another one, and Love and a Mist. Uh, there was a lot, uh, okay amount of weeds, mostly by the Love and the Mist. A lot of it didn't come up and I had to double check and look up what kind of seed, what the seedlings look like. I was like, is this actually a weed? It looks like a weed. Um, there's only a few that actually made its way up. So I tried to sow extra and got a lot more sewing to do.